What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. Exciting news, just saw the video from Kyosho a few hours ago, so I posted it on my Instagram, so I figured I'd share this video with you. I'll put a link down in the description below for the Kyosho video so you can see this thing running, but I did notice when I saw the video, uh, it had a shiny chassis, and I was like, that's interesting. So let me go ahead, so I don't have any kind of date on when this is gonna be coming out, or I don't even have a price on it as of yet. So just kind of giving you information got lots of pictures to share with you guys so you can i'll put links down in the description below so you can head over to our website we'll have it there and once we know the price and everything we'll go ahead and make it so that it's available for pre-order but as of right now no pre-orders so i'll give you more information later but let's go ahead jump over to the pre-orders as of right now we got two different color styles as what it looks like as of now so i'm gonna go ahead and click on this blue one but i'll put links down in the description for both of them along with the video so as of right now, kind of reading this over and everything like this, this is not the Mad Van. VE It's not the Mad Van. It is a different beast altogether. So it is a 110 scale all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. So brushless, this thing can handle 3S LiPo. Speeds are, they say 70, 75 miles, well, 75 kilometers an hour. Tr roughly translate to translates out to about 46 miles per hour. So still not too bad as far as that one. I'm sure you can kind of gear it up or whatever. So let's get into these pictures, but I want to let you guys know too. Okay, this is using this chassis of a KB10. I was trying to look and see if there was other platforms. Now it does share the same drive line as the, the Neo ST 3.0. So it's using some of those parts as far as the drivetrain and things of that. If by chance I have something incorrect, you know, leave a comment, let me know if you want to give more information. Cool, but I'm going to leave it all here. This thing can accept LED lights also. So there's a part number for it as well. So I'll let you guys read up on all of that. But I want to share it with you guys. So let's look at this chassis because, like I said, when I saw the video, I was like, man, that looks different from before. As far as it is not a mad van, we can see it all right here. It would be nice if they would have made it so they're sleeved or whatnot so you can adjust the shocks but other than that man you see the velcro strap there so it can handle a 2 and 3s lipo big reinforcement for that drive um for the support for going down the center definitely adjustable as far as links we can see aluminum aluminum here or metal steel whatnot really nice on that part i'm sure they'll have upgrades for this thing too but again i don't know when this thing's going to be coming out but really cool hopefully that'd be awesome um kyosha send me one <laughs> No, but this thing's awesome. Definitely, it's got Dean connections on it. So there we go. 80 amp electronic speed controller. You can see everything that's here. They give you definitely a better breakdown of it. We can see right here, it does have a front and rear differential, and then the center differential is a slipper clutch, and they'll show you in the picture here that you can make the adjustments for it. So I think you're gonna have to take this little cover off and you can do it. But there we go, our receiver sitting in there. It does have a cover that goes over that. But uh, KV, a 2850 KV brushless motor. There you go, the four pole. It's really nice. There they go, they show you making the adjustments on that slipper clutch for the center. So just put the Allen in there and then you got your Spaniard and then you can go ahead and tighten that thing down and loosen up whatever uh, is needed. So really nice on that one. I don't think they're belted tires. I didn't see nothing like that. But there you go, as far as they are, you can put different weights in that front and rear differential. As you show here, it is sealed, so your oil won't seep out. So really nice on that one. I'm sure it's already gonna it's gonna be greased anyhow, but if you need to up it or thin it out a little bit, there you go, you can do so. So they're showing you a lot of beefy uh, as far as that drivetrain goes too. So we can see it, it's pretty stout. So um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this, the way this thing's looking, looking pretty good. Again, I don't know how much the, the price is gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be closer to like 400 bucks, what it is aluminum chassis too so we're seeing quite a bit here so it could be a little bit more than 400 we're gonna have to kind of wait and see how much it is what do you guys maybe throw a guess out there and see how much you know what the price we think it might be um because i know like the other ones that were brushless even like the car that was using the phaser chassis it's definitely not a phaser chassis so i'm gonna say it's probably gonna definitely gonna be over 400 dollars for this we don't want to make it too expensive because then you know we're in a different realm there but you know, let us know what you guys think as far as that one goes. So we got a wheelie bar on this thing. So man, this thing's looking good. I'm liking it. Um, these are pretty nice. I, 
it kind of looks like it'd be, I don't know if that would be mod one gears or 32. I don't know, but I'm going to kind of guess that it might be a pretty beefy looking. So maybe it's mod one gears, hard to say 80 amp electronic speed controller. Like I said on that part of it, now we can see a little bit better as far as that whole chassis layout. So really nice looking. I'm digging it. So leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think about this thing and uh, throw those prices out there just to see hey, what we kind of might, what we think it might be. Uh, there you go, as far as even just the uh, center uh, slipper clutch. So breakdown of all that. Lots of pictures in here to so try to get a lot for you guys uh, that I could find to share it with you. So very cool. So like I said, I'll be letting you guys know when this will be available how much it's going to cost and all that stuff. So just keep checking back if you need to. On this one, you can always click this notification when available. That'll be at least when we can take, start taking pre-order. So if you want to click that, you just enter your email address in, and then boom, you're good to go. We do offer a Klarna, another payment option too. As of right now, again, we're not taking any kind of pre-orders on this as of yet. So we're just kind of waiting. I'll wait until Kyosha gives like, hey, yes, uh, we're ready to go. And you can start taking pre-orders then uh, go from there even just the top here too so this thing flips over it's got those little skid plates on the top really nice looks really beefy it will come with a clear body too now it won't come with this car but eventually it'll come out and then you can put your own clear body and paint it up whatever you want to do with it but as of right now it looks like there's just those two color options we'll have to wait and see and everything um but yeah also um bond getting jr there's his uh, fun haver so if you guys are looking for a drift car, it is all wheel drive. Just kind of let you guys know in, in regards to that one. So there you go, but uh, stay tuned for more information on these guys here. But for now, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. Peace.